Hello, Brian Kenyon here with Maya HTT. In this video, I will be discussing one of Siemens' newer products called NXX for design. What is NXX? Well, I will highlight some of the main differences between NX and traditional NX that we have seen for many years. The first difference we will notice is how NXX is licensed. In the past, NX had two options, node locked and floating. Node locked would be assigned to a user's specific machine and floating would require the license to be hosted on a corporate server that users would need to point to. The caveat of this is users could not obtain a license unless they had access to the company's network by being on site or VPN. With NXX, all the licensing is cloud-based. What does that mean? Well, using the Accelerator Admin Console, users can be assigned a license. All licensing is named user, and you can simply assign a license by adding the user's corporate email, selecting what bundle you want them to have, and clicking Apply. From there, that assigned user would then get a notification that they can now sign into NXX. In order to sign into NXX, that user would need to have a Siemens account created. Once they have their Siemens account, they can install Siemens Software Center, and from there, they can install NXX. Now, with the license being assigned via cloud, the user has the ability to run NXX with no corporate network access at all. What's the difference between NXX for design and NX for design? It's the same. You still have all the same core functionality in NXX that you had in NX, such as feature-based modeling, synchronous, surfacing, assembly, sheet metal, routing, and many more disciplines. If you are not familiar with NX and its capabilities, please use the link below, contact us at myHTT, and we would be happy to dive in deeper and show you a solution based on your requirements. So you may now ask, what's the difference other than licensing? Well, the valuable feature here is NXX comes with pre-configured built-in data management right out of the box using TeamCenter X Essentials. You can use it to store your CAD data, it limits digging through network folders, and even avoids the issue of creating duplicate parts with the same ID. You can review tasks that may have been assigned to you, as well as the data that is attached to these tasks, so you can quickly access it. Inside the items, if it is an assembly, we have the ability to review the contents of the design, select the components from the bill of materials, and see if these components are used in any other assemblies. You can also do this with individual components if you just have that component open as well. You are also given the ability to start discussions with other people within your organization on any item in Team Center. These discussions can stay with this item for the life of it, so they can always be referred back to in the future if needed. Because Team Center is built in, you can open any item that contains CAD data right into NX quickly and efficiently. From there, we can navigate to any component that we may need to make changes to and create a new revision that will be pushed automatically into Team Center. Since we are currently working on the saw in NX, it is checked out in Team Center, letting other users know it is being worked on. There are also revision rules, so we can view the bomb as it was saved in NX or we can change the rule to latest to show any parts that may be in progress. The battery is now revised in this case, so we can go ahead and save the saw to reflect the changes for the battery going to revision C. We also need to make sure that we update the related drawing for the saw by simply using the open related drawing command in NX. With the drawing now open and updated, we can check to see if the changes are documented properly. And just like saving the CAD data into Team Center, we can also import other documents into Team Center as well, such as PDFs. For the PDFs, we can automatically export those right from NX into Team Center. There is also a simple release workflow with the built in data management. You can quickly release parts. This will ensure that no further modifications can be made to the release part as it will be marked as read only. What needed to be done for the original task is now done. The task can now be marked as complete. Just a reminder that all of this has been done directly inside NXX with Team Center built in right out of the box. No customization was needed. To further build on the built in data management, there is also the option for the non CAD user to be able to access the data that was created by the CAD user. This can be achieved by opening up Team Center in any web based browser. You can view the data using a computer, tablet, or even your cell phone. You just need access to the internet. Inside the web-based application, we have the same capabilities that we saw with Team Center built into NXX. 
We can assign tasks similar to the one that we saw during the NXX portion of this video. We can review the content of the design and even take a look at all the tasks that have been assigned to specific items inside of Team Center. And we can also review the 3D data that is saved into Team Center using a JT file that is automatically created when you save the CAD data, so it always represents the latest and greatest design. Back in the Overview tab, we can find related drawings to all of our designs inside of Team Center and open up the associated PDF that was created inside of NX. With the PDF open, we have the ability to create markups right inside of Team Center for others to view downstream. Just to show some familiar operations again that we saw earlier, we can still release parts in Team Center. We can see the similarity between Team Center built into NXX and the web based application. So, to recap, NXX for Design is a cloud based licensing solution so users can obtain licenses without corporate network access. The design functionality is exactly the same as traditional NX we have seen for many years. And lastly, the huge bonus with NXX is the built in data management that comes with it and is deployed automatically with no IT configuration. You essentially get Team Center deployment for free. So, if you have interest in this product, once again, use the link below and reach out to us at Maya. Additionally, if you are wondering who Maya is, we don't just support NXCAD. We have a large team with the technical ability to support a wide range of Siemens applications used for CAD, CAM, and CAE. We also have the ability to support custom PLM solutions, create custom applications with or without integrating Siemens software, and other solutions as well like implementing AI IoT into your industry. My name is Brian Kenyon and thank you for watching.